Hey everybody, this is Devin here at the Christ Light and Love Center in the middle of the Berksville, Kentucky Vortex. This afternoon I'm going to take just a few minutes to discuss a uh, being we call the Jinn, or the Genie. I'm going to try to cover three points. I'm going to cover a little bit about you, maybe about how, through history when we hear about them, um, how they appear. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, them throughout um, different religions and where they're mentioned. Um, and then I want to end with... I don't know, maybe one or two different accounts of my own personal accounts of uh, running into this being. So let's jump right into it. So the gen of the genie, uh, of course, the number one way that throughout time, and I'm sure most of you listening to this now know what I'm talking about, we see it depicted as um, that old story of the genie and the lamp. So somebody finds the genie lamp, they rub the genie lamp, that vapor starts to come out, and that vapor then turns into that being that we call the genie. Um, of course, then the genie right comes out and grants those three wishes. And I guess I'm going to back up just a little bit. So these beings, 110% are malevolent. They are not benevolent. I know some of you out there are going to argue with me who are uh, who have made packs or deals with these things uh, that these creatures or beings are actually indeed benevolent. And there's that one out there that is benevolent. And I'm sorry, folks. In my humble opinion, my experience is this is not my first rodeo. Um, and I know some people in the past who've actually made packs or deals with these beings, and in the end, pardon my French, but they get screwed. Um, so, but that's kind of the more the, I think, the mainstream way that the gen of the genie uh, is seen or depicted. Now, the other way throughout time, and, and myself, and I know a couple other people who agree with me, is that uh, they will appear as uh, the, the old, um, that old figure of the wizard. Um, and so literally, you know, the old bearded, you know, 200-year-old uh, looking guy, uh, you know, with that, with that wizard robe. And um, I do believe that whichever way that they may appear to someone, right, I believe that these are one and the same being. And so when we look at the, the religious aspects of these beings, we know that, you know, really like... Um, You've got you've got Islam, and that's where we, we hear mention of them. In Christianity, do we hear mention of them? Not really in your King James, not in the other the uh, the biblical texts that I know of. Um, of course, a lot of churches want to you know say there is no such thing as a genie, and 99% of churches want to say well it's a it's just the devil. Well, that's just that, that's a way oversimplification, in my humble opinion. That's just not the way these things play out in real life. Um, but if we go back a little bit further and we start looking at maybe some of the Gnostic uh, reports of these beings, I, no, I can't say that I've read anything individually specifically about the gen or the genie. However, I think they might have, the Gnostics might have considered them falling into a larger um, group called the, called the Archons. So uh, a bunch of different beings really that really had, they really have no good for humanity. They want nothing uh, good for you or anybody that you know. It's kind of just like, you know, just destroy humans type thing. Um, Buddhism, um, I'm hoping to meet with a guy and do an interview here soon um, and, and talk a little bit more with him about Buddhism, but Buddhism I simply don't know. I don't think that they're mentioned in there, but you know they may fall underneath a cat different category. Again, um, they may represent them as a different image or figure. Um, personal accounts, um, I'm going to share one with you. And so re recently, well, maybe you back up a little bit. Um, when I say that Right, that I can see them. Uh, I've seen them full blown to where it's almost like the full veil falls down and you can completely see the being. Um, unlike other beings where, um, you know, I'm able to see them, you know, with like a shift uh, in the eye, I, I'm not, I've, I've not seen a genie around anybody else where, uh, you know, that you can identify it with a change in, in, in the eyeballs. Um, where I can see other beings um, superimposed or in the energetic field as I've talked about before with the technique that I use called Akashic Faces. Um, genies, uh, the gen, no, I've, I've not seen them actually kind of in that superimposed um, way that I've talked about before in other videos where I've seen other beings. Not been able to detect uh, the genie that way. Um, the, really the best way I can describe it, and, and I can go on to this later more or talk about more of this with, with you guys later about this, but it, it's a it's a when you see the person themselves it will just be like a general imbalance in their energy field and I basically I see it back here is the only way I can tell you right now and without going too much further into it um, so the the case in point I guess or the the, the story more uh, specifically um, 
is I, I had a, a job recently that I had to take to kind of keep the center afloat to try to keep it going and, you know, pay my own bills. And um, I had been on that job for just a few days and, you know, hadn't uh, mentioned anybody really who I was that I was doing yet because, you know, that just a lot of people gets a little weird. Um, and you don't want to get fired right away from a job from being the crazy minister that lives down by the river. Um, but I had seen this young man walk across the parking lot a couple different mornings. You know, we came in for the same shift to this job. And I had seen him walk across the parking lot. I'd be like, you know, the first time I saw him, I thought, oh, geez, you know, that kid's dealing with a pretty nasty genie, you know. It's like, hmm. You know, wonder if he knows it or not, but you know, it's not really my business to go there and to mention to people if I see something in their field, like, you know, what I see, like, unless you ask me, I, I you know, I'm not going to bring it up. Um, now, I had seen him again and seen that same energy, it's like, well, you know, there it is again, you know, sure looks like he's dealing with, you know, kind of an oppressive genie energy. Um, now, I was there for a couple months and, you know, word did finally kind of get out that, hey, yeah, this, you know, this guy's been, you know, he's been paid to Ghostbust before and, you know, he's, you know, a minister and a healer and, you know, blah, 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 right? Um, and so the kid came up to me and, uh, you know, starts chatting with me one day at work and he says, you know, I hear that, uh, you know, you can see beings. And I thought, oh, where's he going with this? And I said, yeah, I, you know, I've, you know, once in a while a good day I can see a being or two, right? And um, so, yeah, no, he, he goes right into, he goes, I think I've been dealing with the genie. And I said, oh, really, you think that, huh? And, of course, then he opens up a little bit more about it, about he, I think he was playing in some dark stuff. And, you know, it's, it's, you, know you, you don't want to go playing around with the dark arts, kid. You don't want to play with Ouija boards and, and all these other things that we typically know kind of attract these beings. But that's... Um, that's what he feel, and he and he said the thing appeared to him. You know what he said? He appeared to him as he said he appeared as a wizard, but he saw it as the the genie. But yeah, I I mean, I, and I told him, I said, I said yes, I I will confirm that I do believe you're dealing with the genie. I said, cause son, I could see it on your back, all the way across the parking lot. Um, so yeah, the the gen or the genie, an interdimensional an interdimensional being, as far as I can tell, uh, that's here in like what's nothing good to do with humanity it's just sort of here to you know well haunt and torment people and uh yeah i'll probably get a little haunting and tormenting tonight after i publish this video because you know they don't like their mo they don't like to have their their business be discussed and i know a lot of people out there uh, listening to tonight and tomorrow and throughout the days um and they watch this video and they hear me say that uh, your genie friend's really not your friend uh, that tends to piss them off, and you know, but that's all right. I've dealt with these folks before, and it wouldn't be my first time. It probably won't be my last. But everybody, there is your Jen and your Genie. This is Devin from the Christ Light and Love Healing Training Center in the middle of Burkesville, Kentucky Vortex. If you've got any other questions, you put them down uh, here in the comment section. I'll try to uh, cover as much as I can about the Jen and the Genie. And everybody, be good. I love you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.